Hey guys, Django here. A bit of a uh, speculation video. Because I did tease it that I will be doing it, and I have full intention. Today's up for discussion is that of Samurai Jack Season 5. Oh my god. There is literally... I don't even know where to start. I literally don't. Because like... <laughs> Samurai Jack was a show back in back in the old days of the early 2000s and all that. Back at the time of Jack and did I actually guess this? What the fuck? A Texas Laboratory, a Powerpuff Girls. It was it was part of that era of cartoons, the good one. Uh, and back in the time where things were, I don't know, a bit of a happy, feel good, and you know, cartoons and all that, or at least ones that give you a chuckle. Samurai, Samurai Jack was that for those edgy kids that wanted a bit more of a darker, a grittier show. And that, it was also tame because it was, you know, aired on, um, you know, Cartoon Network and Toonami and all that. And so, it was pretty thing. Season 5 is catering to the fans that love the show of that day, as well as... <laughs> As um, uh, make it, you know, kind of adjusting it so that for that audience of current date. So obviously they've had mature content, for example, blood, uh, <laughs> brutality. It just, it just looks bloody amazing. Like one of the first examples, you just see, you straight up see uh, Jack just get stabbed, and his blood. Literally saying, and there's a few scenes where you see him literally hack up people. So, obviously violence is coming back in a massive way. Like, better than it was in the original show. It's darker, grittier. But one of the things I want to speculate about is, what the heck is up with, with this second younger Jack? If you don't know, Samurai Jet Season 5 is set place 50 years after the events of Season 4. The show has 10 episodes. So... <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's gonna be a conclusion. It's ending Jack and Aku's tale. So what is up with the, you know, the, the Jack that we... the two Jacks? Well... This, this, you know, Jack has pretty much given up. He has got to the lowest point in his life. And he's trying to cope with all this. And his mind's pretty much like, you gotta do this, you know, it's fracturing his mind. He has pretty much got PTSD at this point. <laughs> uh, but, um... And he's trying to get his code back. So, I would... I would like to think that for the first few episodes, it's gonna be him... You know, gaining his confidence, and you know, gaining his warrior spirit, then losing it, only to get it back. There are ten episodes, like I've discussed, so I would like to think the first few episodes are like dedicated to him getting that confidence, him dealing with the, the trauma, but as well, you know, he's adjusted to the time. We can see him using more brutal, brutal weapons, guns. As, as well, his sword, sword play, as well. Something I was very surprised to see him in, in is um, is that he has a motorcycle now. That's I've always wondered why he never in the show, but he's finally adjusted the time, and he looks badass. He's very, very a bit of a samurai shinobi type of. I think I've used the term right. If, Lore experts, someone tell me. I don't know much, but he is wearing more of a samurai armor. So I don't know if that's gonna say anything about what's happening in, in the show. But um, it's got a full-on beard going. So and you know, telling us as the viewers that ha time has gone by. But as well, what someone surprised me is that time doesn't have effect on him. He, he stated that. Time has no f effect, meaning he's not aging. Wonder if that's 
I don't want to do something like really too sci-fi because I, I think they're just gonna really they're not gonna go into it but I wonder if that's like temporal displacement of time and like the last few episodes with him changing time with, I don't really want to say what my thoughts is but if he changes time technically he's erasing that timeline erasing himself or maybe I don't know I don't know how it's gonna roll I have a lot of speculations but um the, one of the other things that was like very noticeable is the new these assassins that are just brutal. Like one of them grabs like a bow as it's being fired and stabs it into another girl's eye. Now, one of them says, you know, they've been trained. Now go after that samurai. I would like to think that's Aku. Like Aku has been around training these girls to fight, like Jet specifically. Cause they they fought for years, and it'd be pretty cool to see him training people but they're all very unique they each have their own indiv individual hairstyle but yet they have the si very similar faces so they're probably sisters but uh, one of the coolest things is like the, the one that's in the middle has Vegeta's hair I thought that was bloody hilarious I don't know why I found that so funny but it's just like it has Vegeta's hair I, I don't know if that's such a joke because Dragon Ball Super has been doing so well Especially with a hype with uh, the Universal Survival Arc. But, um... I would like to think the first, you know, the, the, the bulk of the show is basically Jack gaining his confidence, gaining skills, gaining technology to fight Aku again. As well as a constant reminder, his subconscious telling him, you have to do this. Yes, and he has doubt. He's... but still remaining that quiet but yet insightful or you know warrior that we all love okay i have also have feelings that you know there's going to be a lot of symbolism behind this because <laughs> literally one of the last things he says you know you know he says if you challenge me pretty much i got to kill you i can't remember what exactly he said right now but there were, he says you know if you dare to fight me you and your, your, something about your destiny. They're like, our destiny is to kill you. Very well. Which uh, I thought was very badass. But I like to think, you know, that's the point where he's hiding. He gains it and he's taunting them. Leaving like, you know, he's, he's still bleeding out where he got stabbed in the trailer. He's put hand marks taunting them. And he's just basically gone like, you know, screw you. I'm taking you on. Because he is very adaptable. He is immensely skilled. So... I like to hit, see him get, you know, he's obviously going to get hit as well. I don't even know what the fuck guns he was using because he had pistols, a bloody machine gun. I hope the Scot, one of the things I would like to see as Cass returning is the Scotsman. Because the Cot Scotsman was, <laughs> oh he's a Scottish guy with a machine gun as a leg. Who doesn't, in what way does that not sound badass? All right. Ugh. I am also playing this game as well as I'm talking, so and this is why I'm a bit like, ugh, scatter mine. Um, sadly, the actor who played Aku has passed, I believe he has passed away, and but the, the actor who's taken over is imitating him, so I'm kind of glad I'm going for that. Pretty much everyone else is returning, including the actor who plays Jack. And like I said, this is only 10 episodes, and he, apparently is still going to, it's going to be like the original show, Jack's not going to have a lot of dialogue, he's just going to, you know, his actions will speak louder than words. And that's one of the things, I feel like he's going to be, you can see him, seeing that he's struggling with the artwork, and adapting, but yet, he's still... But you can see the confusion in his face, you can see the worry, the doubt. And then then when he's hiding, when he's taking the breather, then you see the other chat saying, What are you doing? Cause I feel like that's gonna be one of the th the recurring really events. Is basically Jack Jack's own doubt. Will he ever return? Is 
Is Aku ever going to be defeated? Will he be able to go home? I feel like that is one of the things that will be a massive part to the story. But I feel like most of the new cosmetic changes will not last. I feel like in the last few episodes, he might don his own, his old uh, white gi, the old robe, whatever you call it. And uh, he might even shave, shave or maybe he has, you know, he might even age even further. Like, he might even go further into his future. Where he has no doubt, but he, he wears his old gi, he has a, a be more white beard, maybe. I don't know, I don't know, because even though he said he has, you know, age doesn't affect him. One of the promotional pictures, he's wearing this armored, this armored stuff that you see him in the trailer, but his beard is white. That could be just down to, you know, changes in design. And, um, but it'll be interesting to see, you know, maybe he can age. And this is his own doubt. I would, I generally am looking forward to this. This is going to be one of the most, for me, this is generally the biggest hype. Like, well over the, any, the Dragon Ball Super or fucking anything that's coming out. Because no other, like, usually I'm excited for animes, films, shows. But Samurai Jack is something I'm highly anticipating. And I think... And it will have a bittersweet ending. One thing I am... I can see him either dying... Or you see him... In his older age... Ready to pass on. Maybe. Because... I feel like this is going to be badass... No matter what. Because it's going to be a bloodbath to the end. Right. I'm ending that here guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh! If you have your own thoughts to add to this com this discussion, please leave in the comments, because that will be great. But of course, if you think anything my points may be wrong, or you know something's wrong with the facts, please state it. But always remember, state your things with actual facts, don't just say your yeah, yo turd. Because we're trying to make well, a better community, that will be great. Hey, just that for discussions, especially nerd discussions, because I'm a fan of everything. Like, like, comment, subscribe guys, and I'll see you in the next video.